Hello everyone, so today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Sharath Mohan, who's also a batchmate of mine. So Sharath, would you like to introduce yourself? Hey Ashish, yeah, sure. Um, so uh, everybody, hello. Uh, my name is Sharath Mohan and I am a classmate of Ashish. We are college buddies yeah. and yeah, just to start off with, I'd say Ashish is a very big nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, other than that, yeah, to... Uh, introduce myself. I am an in, uh, intern at Amazon currently. So let's get straight into it, Sharad. Tell, tell us about your interview experience, the rounds, the problems, everything in details. Yeah, sure. Um, so yeah, to start off with, uh, it, I mean, we had an online exam as usual. It was, uh, I would rate it as a medium level. Yeah, the questions in general were uh, medium is what I would say. So basically I had, I mean, it started off with seven error finding questions. Mm -hmm. So uh, they were fairly easy for me. I didn't have, I didn't, I didn't have to spend much time in it. I mean, yeah. So each, I mean, the exams divided into the online exams divided into multiple sections mm -hmm. uh, and each are restricted with its individual time. So I didn't have to spend much time in it. Uh, that is, I mean, I completed fairly before the uh, deadline that is. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there were seven, seven error finding questions and then now we moved on to the coding questions. So there were two coding questions. I, if I remember right, yeah, I, there was a, one question related to hash map and one question related to sliding window. Uh, they were fairly uh, uh, simple too. I mean, I would, yeah, again, the, uh, the level of hardness, I would rate them as medium. Mm -hmm. Then moving on, uh, there was a behavioral survey. Mm -hmm. In the same round. Um, no, that is an extra on that. Uh, I mean, after completing the uh, coding question. Okay. So yeah, if uh, if my memory serves right, it wasn't time bound. So you can take as much time as you want for filling the survey. There were a bunch of questions, so it took a bit of time to fill it. And then lastly uh, was the logical aptitude section. Mm -hmm. uh, I I'm not I don't exactly remember how many questions there 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 were, but yeah, they were also I mean they weren't that hard. Mm -hmm. Particularly, I mean everything was. Yeah, if you I mean, if you have uh, dealt with a few, uh, I mean, logical kind of mm -hmm. questions, it should be yeah. fine. I mean, if you have a little bit of practice in it, that is. Uh, so it is not like you know the mathematical aptitude uh, kind of questions where you know if a boat, uh, I mean, the boat goes up, the upstream, mm -hmm. downstream question yeah, kind yeah. of a, stuff like that. Yeah. So if it had if it had been that, I would definitely have not cracked it because <laughs> <laughs> it is not one of my strengths. But yeah, yeah. these were more kind of uh, these were like kind of the logical questions. So it was fairly uh, decent. I was able to do it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And uh, I think it after about five six days uh, they call I mean they gave the list for the interviews mm -hmm. and yeah I was selected in it uh, selected for it that is and yeah so there were basically two rounds of interviews mm -hmm. uh, and again the questions in this uh, were from the topics of graph questions I got a I think if I'm if I remember right again I got two graph questions and then there were array questions string questions uh, trees. Uh, tree based questions yeah so basically almost uh, everything uh, for amazon i mean it's a very popular thing i think when you're preparing for amazon that is almost uh, i mean they are very famous for asking just dsa questions <laughs> dsa yeah. questions and amazon has uh, quite a few leadership principles mm -hmm. so that i mean like uh, that is something also that you should focus on so before you get into the interview uh, just mm -hmm. google uh, and understand what the leadership principles mm -hmm. are and you know uh, uh, what are the different ones and there are certain ones i mean when you go through it itself you can understand that uh, there are certain leadership principles i mean in amazon i think all of them are valued very much but uh, certain leadership principles are related to certain roles a little more mm -hmm. so you know you prepare for those uh, ones and uh, you come up with a scenario mm -hmm. i mean there is a star approach for uh, answering those questions right yeah i've heard of that yeah yeah right so yeah, just check out what a star, I mean, you know, what the star approach for answering a uh, behavioral type question is and, you know, prepare for the leadership principles with respect to uh, the star approach. Mm. That will be very helpful. Um, and other than that, yeah, what I was mentioning is uh, questions related to graphs, strings, arrays and trees were there. Uh, I think I got one hard graph question. One was a medium graph question. And uh, the array and string questions, uh, they were fairly, uh, I mean, medium itself, mm -hmm. but it's, I mean, it becomes challenging when they ask to optimize the time mm -hmm. that is, I mean, isn't yeah. it always, I mean, aren't always, I think I suppose almost all the questions should be fairly simple. Mm -hmm. and almost brute all force, using brute force. <laughs> yeah, brute force. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, so like, if I, if I remember right, yeah, there was this one question. So, I mean, I just started off with them. I mean, it's a very simple question. So it's like, mm -hmm. it is only, I mean, it's a very uh, obvious answer. You can just brute force it like this. 
and then yeah you can solve it in big of and like this mm-hmm. i was like that and then the interview was like so sir can you solve it in big of login and i was like oh man <laughs> i didn't see that coming yeah. but yes so i was able to pull it off the top of my head and they mm-hmm. came up with an algorithm and i was able to solve it mm-hmm. so yeah and yeah that is pretty much how the interview went before we go into the rest of the video let's talk about something that we did not talk much about in the video and that is having good projects in your resume so having good projects in your resume is equally as important as your other preparation aspect so having good projects and having the relevant software development skills in your resume will help set you apart from rest of the candidates and that brings me to cryo so cryo is a great website and it's a great platform for learning software development skills here at cryo you can learn full stack development and you can learn back end development and you'll be learning by doing so instead of just learning theory and theory you'll be learning by creating industry grade real life projects and such projects that if you put them on your resume it will help set you apart from rest of the candidates so you have your full stack development course where they'll teach you everything that is required to become a full stack developer you can see that the technology that they'll be teaching you starting from linux html git css all the way till react node js docker and you'll be learning all of these things hands on while working on real life projects likewise you have your back end development course where they'll teach you everything that is required to become a back end developer again you can check out the technologies and you'll be learning them by hands on practice so you can check the link in the description and get 10% off on whatever you take at cryo so go click the link in the description check out cryo and now let's get back to the video so like you didn't have a hr round or managerial round something like that uh no man i basically had uh, i mean uh, i mean amazon has leadership principle questions right so it was that i mean Amazon has leadership principles so mm-hmm. i got a question i mean that is basically their behavioral kind of uh, question and it was asked to me during my second round okay so, so it was a part of was... technical round only yeah exactly mm-hmm. okay so like tell me one thing amazon is a dream company for a lot of people you know a lot of people want to get into amazon the fang and everything so what advice would you give to people who are appearing for amazon or preparing for amazon like what advice would you give what kind of preparation mm-hmm. strategy to use and all all right so uh i would actually say it is simply dsa 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 <laughs> i mean you know yeah. i think it is a very popular uh thing about amazon right mm-hmm. the whole interview process revolves around dsa mostly i do recall a friend of mine having had uh, gotten questions from uh, a project that he did and mm-hmm. uh, stuff like that so for me personally i i mean yeah i did have conversations related to my project mm-hmm. but a friend of mine uh, like you know uh, they kind of deep dived into mm-hmm. the uh project itself but in yeah. general yeah it is mostly dsa mm-hmm. and uh as for how to prepare for it uh i mostly prepared for the interview or for amazon basically or in general my placements at that point of time i was preparing from geek for yeah. me so i had a senior uh, who shared me a link uh, i mean a list of important questions to practice for the placement or you know uh, interviews or coding questions in mm-hmm. general so i was like uh, solving topic wise uh questions from it and i recall the uh, pattern also i followed them in the topic wise uh, order that i followed i mean i started with normal number type questions that is you know related to uh, hcf lcm and all that stuff mm-hmm. and then i moved to arrays then strings then trees uh binary trees uh i mean to note it binary trees not bst or any other tree uh, data structure yeah so i, I moved on to B, uh, trees and then i moved on to graphs after which i started looking at a bit of dp uh i i think uh dp is also a very popular uh, topic that they ask from uh, i didn't get any from the topic mm-hmm. that is yeah so i got uh, many from graph a graph to- I mean, from the topic of graph that is um right so so you prepare that, topic wise right so for each data structure each algorithm you solve problems topic wise right exactly i solve the popular prob- uh, problems that are mm-hmm. uh, from each topic okay and yeah so okay as for how i approached in solving it basically is i mean it is pretty obvious that when you try and attempt a problem you won't be able to solve it in the first shot right i mean yeah. you need not solve it right mm-hmm. so i i made it a behavior i mean a, a, a habit you know even if i solve the problem or don't solve the problem what i do is i yeah obviously i attempt it on my own, attempt it on my own and regardless of whether i get it or not i go to the discussion section mm-hmm. i go to the discussion section Elite and i look at uh gfg as well i mean there's a, a discussion forum in gfg as well oh, okay. so i mean during the uh, period of the placement preparation towards the starting i was mm-hmm. working on i mean i was doing all my coding in gfg and then later on i moved to leetcode leetcode's okay. an amazing platform mm-hmm. and yeah, I, i think agree. yeah right uh, yeah. so like i think it's a popular approach i mean again uh, as you know from talking to different friends so this mm-hmm. is how uh, 
uh, i have a friend you know who's uh, who cracked both amazon and microsoft i mean uh, yeah so uh, so this friend of mine the approach that uh, she took was uh, you know you buy the lead code premium hmm. uh, and you know you solve it company wise yeah. yeah right so that is one approach uh, that you can uh, take and as for how i did it what i did was i uh, regardless of whether i solve a problem or not i go to the uh, discussion section and i look at the code hmm. and uh, i study different approaches. people's approaches exactly because at the end of the day there is always going to be the simplest approach right mm-hmm. or at least a simpler approach than what was yours yeah, yeah, yeah. so you know yes, yes, the yes. idea is not to uh, you know just uh, go with a one track mind you should be open mm-hmm. to more approaches or because that is the only way to know if there is an optimization that you can do that you haven't attempted as of yet mm-hmm. so okay. that is what i basically did and um, yeah i think that helped me a lot in you know improving my thought process oh yeah another point to note about the during the interview is i mean these are popular tips that you get uh, it was kind of a bit pressuring for me during my first interview you know uh, because we usually code on our own right hmm. so but during the interview it is better to not keep silent i mean yeah. whenever you are stuck or something or when you get the question uh, you, you, i mean you should just go out and ask i mean i just went ahead to my interviews and i was like uh i am so i mean like uh, could you just give me 2 minutes mm. to think or could you just give me 5 minutes to think and you know you take your time at that point of time it's okay if you're silent but once you start coding or you know just mm-hmm. uh keep them posted as to you know what your approach is yeah yeah just talk or talk i mean you just mm-hmm. speak out loud that is what they say right for yeah, the interviews yeah, yeah. and that is what i basically did so it's a, i think it was an important uh tip that was given to me like you have to explain mm-hmm. your code as you code it right yeah exactly what is happening you know? okay right. so the okay. so the key takeaway for amazon would be to be really really strong in your foundation of dsa be really good with your dsa problem solving skills right yep definitely and even for the mm-hmm. whole of placements not just for amazon for the whole of placements dsa is what i would say the most important right there are other things but dsa is what holds the most important is what i agree right with the, without a doubt so like if you were to read the topics i'd say it starts off with dsa is first and then uh i think operating systems no actually no uh, dsa oops and then os i suppose and then yeah. networks and, and then this projects. is how i would rate yeah and then projects definitely yeah. projects is an important factor because you know you can catch i mean when you're introducing yourself you're going to start off with your mm, projects, projects right and correct. it has a lot of impact on you know how they're going to view view you as a you know interview mm-hmm. uh, interview mm-hmm. um so if you have an impressive project you know they'd be curious and they'd ask you questions about it and you know mm-hmm. uh, more details as to uh you know how you approach the i mean what is the problem statement and how you approach the uh, solution you know how i mean it it becomes a whole conversation and you know you can interest the interviewer you know hmm. it is to keep them engaged with you i mean that is also a goal right so yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so i guess you pretty much covered everything that there was to the process and interview experience of amazon the kind of problem that they ask and thanks a lot for coming on my channel and sharing your journey your experience with me and my subscribers and i'm sure that it will help a lot of people and like i said again the key takeaway that a lot of people don't understand till the last of their college is that dsa is very very important and that's if if there's one thing that you need to take away from this uh, video then i would say that should be that dsa is the most important for your placement duration right and also uh, a pointer do not neglect the leadership principles i, I yeah, you know for amazon specifically amazon, right yeah yes 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 yeah i mean it is yeah. held at high value Mm-hmm. So thanks again Shreyas for coming on my channel and enlightening us all with your presence. Thanks a lot man. Anytime Ashish, anytime. <laughs>